Hey everyone, here's how to publish your Spark AR effect to Instagram or Facebook. Once you complete a project in Spark AR, it's then time to publish it. My first step is to finalize everything by testing the effect on the Instagram camera. So you want to click on this phone arrow icon on the left. And then you will see a test notification on your Instagram app. Just click on that and double check to make sure everything looks good since in my experience, sometimes the effect on the preview window doesn't look as precise as the final look that you can find on the Instagram camera. Now back to Spark AR. The publish icon is just below the test on device icon with the arrow up. Here you can decide if you want to publish a new effect or update an old one. Next, we need a demo video, which will give users an idea of what the effect looks like before they use it. You can either record it now using your computer camera or later if you want to record your demo video using the app. I prefer using my phone camera better, so I'll record it later on. Next, we need to make sure the file size and capabilities meet the requirements. So make sure they both have a green check mark beside. For the file size, you can see the maximum requirement for each platform over here. If you went over the file size limit, click on the view asset summary and you can see the size of each asset you have. This is a good time to compress large file textures or delete any unused assets to free up space. Back to requirements, go and review capabilities. For experiences, it'll automatically check the platforms that support it from your effect, but you can uncheck any if you prefer not to include it. If you find that your effect is unsupported to a certain platform, then check your capabilities and either decide to remove it or just leave out publishing on that platform. Now you can hit upload and it will redirect you to your Spark AR publishing page. Before that, I want to let you know another way which is to click export here and this will create an AR export file that will save on your computer and you can just manually drag this to the Spark AR Hub publishing site. So let's go there now. Here's where you can drag the file in if you chose to export it. But since we clicked upload, it already did it for us. Alright, so let's start by giving the effect a name. Next, same as earlier, we can choose the platforms. You may also have the option to let users use their previously taken images and videos from their phone gallery and use the effect to it. The owner will be the one who is able to manage the effect in the Spark AR Hub, and the publisher is whoever's profile the effect will be uploaded and shown to. Next, we have categories where you can select up to 4 that fits in with your effect. Then we have keywords where you can add up to 20. These are just tags that represents your effect. On to the demo video. If you already recorded yours on Spark, it'll automatically bring the video in. But since I decided to record it on Instagram camera and saved it, then this is where you can drag the video file in. Just note that the audio will also be included in your demo video, so mute it if you don't want to include it. Moving on to icon, you can leave it using the video thumbnail as the icon or upload your own. I created this icon on Procreate and I can just drag it in and upload it. And just make sure that the image is a square aspect ratio. Here in collaborators, you can add another user who collabed with you on the project so that it'll also appear in their portfolio. Finally, the publication date. You can either set it to as soon as possible, which will get your effect in the review process right away. Or you have the option to set a specific time and date for it. Just note that this doesn't mean it will be published right away because the review process can take up to 5 days. If you want to learn more about the policies, click here. Basically, you can't upload effects that portrays issues like violence, weapons, alcohol, etc. Otherwise, your effect will be rejected. And that covers everything about publishing your effects to Instagram or Facebook. Let's now hit submit. And you get this message saying it's now in the review process. 
You will either get an email or a Facebook notification once your effect is accepted and shown on your profile in the effects tab. If you have any questions, comment down below and if you found this helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more Spark AR tutorials. Thanks for watching, see you next time!